When I walk in the club, I make the haters mad off. Just as I can shake and rap, even fast off. Why you acting dumb like this? When you hear the pop, you got the get you, 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 get It is like, I don't even know. It's almost three o'clock, so it's 2.41. Uh, last night, I didn't go to bed till like five or six because I was up painting. Um, I painted this. It has a message behind it that I wrote. Um, I don't know, I just, did music therapy, which is very helpful. You just paint based off of like the vibrations that you feel or the emotions that you feel while I listen to a song. So it was a few songs I listened to. I don't know, I didn't really have a purpose for it. So my interpretation and my parents saw it differently. This was my mind, I guess, that's like trapped in a box and these are all the emotions that I feel. Uh, but they saw different things, like they saw a soul, they saw a face, they saw a body. Um, but this was just like all of the emotions, the rage, the hopefulness, the scaredness that I was feeling last night that I just kind of drew. I can't stop touching my hair either. It's a bad habit. I get it from my grandma, but tomorrow, <laughs> random thought. Tomorrow makes week five of, well, technically I came home on the fourth. So yesterday made a month of me being home. But tomorrow makes week five of the accident. So three more weeks to go, 21 more days, or something like that. I go on the 28th. So 22 more days until I get the all clear and start walking. These vlogs are to help me. Um, it's a diary of where I was when I'm 30 or 40. And if YouTube is still around, I can come and show my children what I've been through. I can come and show whomever, you know, life does get better. Even in those moments of like uncertainty. So, mm. Yeah, I just want to go paint and draw. Oh no, it's very calming just to see the strokes of the drawing. And I want to go finish that Black Excellent piece. Every time I want to make a video, daggum dogs get to barking. <laughs> hey, that's my ring light that I got.
feel like I'm always, I feel like the days run by each other. Like they just go and go and go. Actually, let's, let's put the ring light on. Let's do this. Let's, let's, let's experiment with this ring light. I'm in my room. Finally, I made it to my, I made it to my room, but I can't walk with the phone and the walker, so I'm going to say that real quick. So I just recorded this whole video <laughs> of me talking and being very profound with me looking a hot diggity dog old mess. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. I was talking and I had clearly like uh, remnants of food that was all over my face that showed that I had just enjoyed enjoy way too much of this popsicle that I ain't supposed to be eating. <laughs> so, it was a good little clip too, but little me self kicked in and you know I already look crazy with my hair like this. I ain't trying to look even more crazy yet. <laughs> yeah, so here's what it looks like with the ring light. Um, I couldn't find it. Well, not couldn't find it. It was a pause because when my cousin had set up my ring light um, and my parents had set my room back up, um, my mom had put my cord away and so I wasn't able to find it. So that took a little second to get everything set up. So, but we're in action, we're good to go. And yeah, so I'm in my room now, finally. So I went from the, and like I said, it's not the living room, it's the family room. I went from the family room to the guest room to my room. So week five, I'm finally in my room. <laughs> yes, I didn't vlog anything. Uh, I just had, I woke up like around one, like around 12, 11, 12. I didn't go to bed till like three. I was up writing a poem. Uh, and then I spent time talking to my mom, then I spent talking to my sister-in-law, then I spent time talking to my cousin. Then I just didn't vlog. But I got some really more nice gifts. I got this lovely sketchbook that I'm going to hold off on. I want this one to be like my baby, my baby baby. I have two of these from my uncle. I found out who gave them to me. My uncle gave me two of these and some pencils. Yeah, just reflected on life in this journey that I'm in and just trying to get out of the comfort zone of looking back. And, and the reason why I said that because in the last clip that I had my food around that I'm deleting, that's what I was talking about because I read this. This is my favorite, 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 favorite. <laughs> favorite journal to write in um it's my journal that uh, I don't know if I can get it, but it's like like I write in this thing like this thing here this thing let's see this thing here has some happiness you know what I'm trying to say it has some happiness and some sad moments and some glad moments and some fuck nigga moments. But <laughs> I was reading this because it applied to my life today. It says, be bold, take risk, live life freely, lead by example, trust your gut, say what you feel, mean what you say, express gratitude, believe in your power, exceed your expectation, Dance the night away, skip down the street, don't take no for an answer, be your best self and don't look back. Uh, every part like resonates in my heart, in my soul, but more specifically the part of don't look back because of uh, the space that I'm in where everything seems so un like unclear and I don't know, it just seems so unknown if like that makes sense let me see let me fix this real quick but yeah I guess I'm like in this place of 
fully jumping into this new career that I don't know of what it's gonna be. So a part of me wants to go to what I am most used to, which is like starting a resume and typing in all my credentials and putting it on Indeed and trying to find a job. But then the part of me is like, no, just follow your passions, but passions ain't gonna pay your bills, but you wanna be happy. You you tell your students to live life and, and, and do what you wanna do, love what you wanna do, but then you see other people who are like, um, flourishing in their in their life, and then you start to like sit and compare. Like, well, maybe I should just st like stick it out. Nothing is gonna ever be perfect, so why are you worried about it? But then I like that. That's that part of looking back because I don't I don't know anyone who's ever followed their dreams full heartedly. Like I have some people who like follow their their passions as a hobby, uh, but never to say like to be their main source of income. And so I guess like to me, that's that walking with the idea of moving forward and venturing into something that you're unsure of. And so like even as I speak, I say one thing, but my mind unbeknownly is like, girl, what you gonna do with this? What, is, what you gonna do with this shit, babe? Like, what you gonna do? Like, what's up, girl? Like. And it's just kind of like, that's not fair for me to say one thing and think another. But it's just the human nature. So like, as I said, a lot of these videos are just for me to think out loud, for me to get out of my head and to put into something so I can say, remember that time when you were so confused, girl, and look at you now? You did some. And I say that because me and my sister-in-law were having a conversation about like the idea of school because I don't know if you know or not. Mm -hmm. I have two degrees. I graduated uh, summa cum laude at, with my undergrad. And unfortunately with your master's, you don't get a, like a level or a title, but I graduated with 3.9. And my family members are like, or people around me like, girl, how you do that? But in all reality, it was just like, mm, just did it, you know? And I was telling her like, there's nothing in this world that you can't be or do. It just comes with hard work. And I think right now I'm in that space of not wanting to do the hard work, but I know I have to do the hard work. So it's like, put your money where your mouth is. You say you want this, so do it. But you know, that's that idea of looking backwards. But I'm all on a tangent, you know what I'm saying? And I broke my nail. But yeah, I'm done. It's, I mean, oh, my, my phone's right here. It's 11 something. I'm gonna call it a night. I'm tired of wearing the same stuff. Oh, not my credit card. I figured I'd get this footage because it's real life. I am with TT. Hey, CJ. And we just figured out how to get into the car. Uh, luckily, one of the doors were unlocked, but he was in the JC Penny. We're at JC Penny's. Let me just let me let me let me set the scene for you. We're at JC Penny. I'm shopping for makeup. My mom's in there shopping for herself, and she has him. But the whole time um, I'm in the register at the register, I hear him. Just screaming, just screaming, 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 screaming. So we figure out how to get into the car, and now he's calm. That's my mom's face. Because he was in there screaming. And now I look at him. Just as happy as can be. <laughs>
どうする<笑>
you know, it's a mental thing every day of not being able to walk. It's just a mental thing that you just have to kind of bear through. And some days you have good days where you're smiling and you want to be around people. And then some days you don't. And I think, like, the stairs of, like, she's on crutches. I wonder what happened. Kind of got to me mentally, and I wasn't really prepared for it. But none the least, um, I still had a good time. Because just to see my cousin graduate from uh, college with her master's was just a blessing. So she's officially a counselor. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, I did video of me sewing this in i'm just straightening it straightening it straightening it i just finished blow drying it so i didn't like the curls and i'm going to say that in my video when i kind of do like my final like say so for everything we do my makeup in a few minutes but yeah i didn't like the curls and i have to find the like the I'm just rambling. Yeah. Anyways, I did like the curls, so I straightened my hair. And so, I don't even know what I was talking about. It had stopped recording. But yeah, I'm going to straighten my hair. I'm going to do that off camera, make a video, do my final thoughts on the hair and the processes that I went through while I eat my breakfast, grapes, and spinach eggs. So, that's where I've been. I'm going to end this vlog, um, even though it's like three days into the new week i'm just gonna go ahead and end it now so i can say thank you for watching and shout out to my crutches in the back <laughs> go watch my other videos bye